Hey everyone! So I've been guided to do a new activation series. It's going to be seven days long, seven separate sessions, and it's going to be a Lumerian and Palladian activation. So I'm going to give a little bit of a backstory, and then we're going to do a fun pick a card reading so you can get a personal message for you moving forward in this activation series or just whatever guidance you need right now from the Lumerians and Pleiadians. So a little bit of a backstory. A while ago, I got a Life Between Lives session, which is similar to a past life regression. You go to the place where we go in between incarnations. And at that time, I said in my um, hypnotized state, now uh, you get hypnotized, you go under. Um, in my hypnotized state that I was of Lumerian and Pleiadian lineage. So Lumerian on my mom's side and Pleiadian on my dad's side. And at the time, I honestly didn't know... I had heard of them. I was more familiar with Pleiadians and Lumeria. I, I really wasn't familiar at all. And so I started doing some research after that. And, uh, you know, just a lot really resonated. And so I told my mom, and she, we both became very interested in Lumeria, and she got this Lumerian Oracle card deck. And just this past week, she gifted this to me. And in reading through the booklet, I came across a little bit about Lumerian, about the Pleiades, and as I was reading this, I got the very strong guidance that this is the next activation that needs to be done. So, I wanted to read just a quick blurb from this book to give us all a little bit of a backstory on Lumeria and the Pleiadians and what this activation is meant to do for our spiritual expansion and ascension. And so, this comes from the, I'll just show you the booklet. It's a beautiful deck. I'll link to it below. I know that it does run out, like it gets sold out on Amazon pretty quickly. Okay, so this is what the booklet says. The Lumerian dimension is one of grace, love, and the divine feminine. Lumeria was an Edenic civilization, but now it exists as a healing ascension template for the new earth. When you connect to Lumeria, you get downloads from this healing template. You may notice inspiration, heart expansion, and divine healing. Lumeria existed before the Atlantean times, both of which have been scrapped from history books. Invited by the etheric Lumerians of light, cosmic beings from the star system Pleiades came to Earth to support the evolution of humanity in the process called star seeding. The Pleiadians activated humanity's DNA so that the Lumerian beings of light could come into the physical form. Presently, many Lumerians live in high vibrational underground cities of light. They have changed their physical form into a more energetic body. Other Lumerians that are in the etheric realms are a bit like angels. The cards help you connect to all these Lumerians and help them connect to you. The Pleiadians are beings of light from the Pleiades star system in the Taurus constellation, and they bring a high vibration of love and healing. Together, the Pleiadians and the Lumerians are supporting a spiritual evolution on a cosmic scale, which is focused on planet Earth as a microcosm. They are confidants, assisting each other in many ways. The Pleiadians provide a vast library of knowledge and guidance, and the Lumerians are an important part of the ground crew who are manifesting the spiritual evolution here on Earth. So I just thought that was so interesting and fascinating whenever I read it. And so for this activation series, we're going to be calling on both, and we're going to be pulling a card each day. I'm going to do this one as a video so you can see the cards moving forward as they are activating within themselves. So I just wanted to pull a general message. I haven't done a tarot reading on here in a long time, but I wanted to pull a general message and then we will get 
into the individual messages. And I think I'm going to do this as a premiere. And I don't believe that the premieres let you um, skip ahead to the timestamp. So if you're watching this as the premiere, then there's a message in all of these for you. But you know, pick the one that you're most guided towards because that's going to hold extra meaning. So I'm just pulling some cards to ask what our guidance is going into this activation series. The first card we get is the Fool. And so the Fool is all about new beginnings. The Fool is about taking the leap, taking a leap of faith. So he's at the, you know, the edge of this cliff and he doesn't know what's beneath the cliff, what's on the other side, but he's ready to go. He's not even looking down, he's looking up. And it's yellow and it's sunny and it's a bright new day. So this is really, they are encouraging us to go into this unknown to leave what was behind, which is really a lot of the messages that I've been coming through, the activations I've been doing and the meditations and the channelings that this is, I'm almost feeling like taking it to an even deeper level of trust. So what a beautiful, beautiful card to start off with. What is another general message that you have for us? So we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is a time, again, with that Fool to take the leap and leave the anxiety behind. This card is, when it's upright, it talks about anxiety, sleepless nights, a lot of worry, but this card came in reverse, talking about a time to leave this all behind. And I feel many of us are stepping into this next chapter in our lives where we're not needing to worry. The worry is not suiting us. We are living more and more and more by our intuitive guidance, more and more by this trust and knowing that the divine and all of these helpers, the Pleiadians and Lemurians in particular right now are guiding us and they're protecting us. And so it's time to let the worries go for good, which I know has come up in, in many activations. Um, the Lion's Gate, that was a, a theme. Um, the twin flame, this last new moon, uh, or I'm sorry, full moon twin flame healing, that was one of the themes that came through. So it's being reinforced again and again because it's not something that's easy for us to let go of. But it's time because there's nothing to worry about. We are on the right path. So please give me one last card. Two came out, the Five of Swords and the uh, Seven of Pentacles both in reverse. So the Five of Swords to me always represents the ego and the Seven of Pentacles represents a weight. And so these also came in reverse, talking about a transcendence from the ego, letting it go, you know, letting the worries go, letting the ego fears go. And with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the weight is over. We've put a lot of work into our spiritual ascension, into expanding our lives, into aligning. And for many of us, it feels like we've been working and working and working, and we haven't yet seen the harvest of the seeds that we've planted. But these messages are coming to tell you that that weight is will soon be over or it is over now. So I think it's very interesting that the only upright card is a major arcana, a major life event, a major next chapter, and that's the fool. And that's telling you to trust and the rest are in reverse. So it's telling you to trust in these healing energies in your path, and let go of the worry, allow those ego programs to fall away. And all of the waiting will soon be over. So I want to just pull um, a card from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. These are my favorite cards when it comes to any sort of ascension energy. And I pulled these, I believe, in the Lionsgate uh, portals. Hmm. The card that we got was Dance With Life, Do Something to Change the Energy, which is exactly what these cards are talking about, right? We're shifting out of this energy for good. It's not like 
You know, I feel like a lot of people um, on this path, you shift out an energy and then it feels like you kind of shift back in and out. You know, it's like this back and forth. But this is changing for good if you just trust. So allow yourself to dance. Allow yourself. The Pleiades and the Lumerians have this lighthearted energy to them. And that's what they're bringing into you. Dance. Play. Have fun. You will not fall. You're not going to fall this time. The struggle is over. You are going to be guided. You are going to, if you jump, they will catch you. And they will bring you to exactly the place that your soul wants to be. So give me one more of these cards, please. Ooh, that came right out. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So you can see all the darkness, right? But then we're going through this portal here. This is where we are heading. And when I see this card, for whatever reason, it's probably some ancestral memory, that reminds me of Lumeria. A beautiful, peaceful ecosystem. So you are leaving this behind. We just have to, again, take that leap. Because what is on the other side is beyond what we have experienced up until this point. And finally, I want to pull one card from the Butterfly Oracle deck, which is all about change, and then we'll get into the individual messages. Please give us one card of the changes we are going through right now. Motivation. When I see this card, to me, it feels like the energy is about to really speed up. We've kind of been in this resting mode, this healing mode, and this activation is going to push something forward. And if you've already been feeling this push forward, it's really going to give you the energy and the motivation to cross this threshold, to take this leap. I just see so much orange, so that's sacral chakra, that's flow. The sacral chakra holds our childhood wounds and it holds our emotions, but it also holds our center of creativity, of creation and of flow. And so this is what this butterfly represents to me. When this butterfly was in the cocoon, that's when it was working on the childhood traumas and healing the wounds, not only from this lifetime, but from past lifetimes, old traumas, cutting those cords, healing on a deep core soul level. But the butterfly is broken out of the cocoon now and is motivated to fly wherever it's being called to go. And so this card to me represents this sense of flow. It's not a motivation that comes from pushing yourself. It's a motivation that comes from allowing yourself to go where you're being called to go. And there might be a little bit of a push initially, right? Like a little bit of a, you just had to jump, you just had to leap, you just had to step over this threshold. And that's the final breaking out of the cocoon, which came through in the Angel series with Archangel Zacchaeus as well, if you watch that. It, so maybe, maybe this activation, if you need that last little push, then that's going to give you the motivation to do that. If you've already leapt and you're like, well, what now? Then this is going to take you where you need to be next. In harmony, in balance, in a state of peace. It's time to take flight. All right, so I want you to, if you haven't already, Look at these cards, and I have little crystals underneath of them. Find one that you were drawn to. So right here is one, two, three, four, and five. So one through five, take a deep breath. Pick which one most resonates. You might have more than one. And like I said, I do believe these messages will apply to everyone. 
but whatever one you are drawn to holds the deepest message for you. So let's get started with number one. Number one says blue ray being direct divine expressions bridge between dimensions. So just look at this for a second. Allow this to activate you on a core and cellular level. And that's what we'll be doing in this activation. It's not so much about the words, it's a deeper activation. It's a deeper understanding and knowledge that our soul knows, but our mind might not be able to conceptualize. So if you pick this card, the first thing I'm drawn to is the number one and the heart. So this is a heart-centered card and it's a card of new beginnings. And this is a card of speaking your truth. It says direct divine expression, bridge between dimensions. If you pick this card, you might be a channel. You might be getting a lot of knowledge and it is through this series, this activation series, you will, you could be getting additional knowledge and additional downloads, but you also could be getting guidance on how to share this directly with the world. You are a bridge between the dimensions. You are a bridge between the Lemurians, Pleiadians, your star system, higher dimensions, other dimensions, and this reality that we're in right now. Allow yourself to be activated just by looking at this card. And it starts in your heart. That's where the activation is occurring for you. Allow it to expand out from that space. I'm also feeling children um, for that. So if that resonates, there could be something with children. Either you're meant to work with children, that you are the children that you have, are crystal children, you're meant to have a crystal child. Or for some, it could be that. Let's go to number two awakening know who you are dna activation what's so interesting is this was number one and the number on the card is number one and this is number two and the number on the card is number two if you pick this card you are going through a major awakening right now it says know who you are dna activation also the sacred triangle symbol bringing together the mind, body, and spirit. The triangle is the, the uh, associated with the number three, which is a master number. You are a master. You are really integrating your higher self with your inner child, with who you are right now in this physical. Allow this card to activate you. Look at her crown chakra. It is just exploded wide open. Look down at the root as above, so below, just complete energy flow that expands out in every single direction. This series for you is going to be incredibly activating on a level that um, you don't quite know yet, but allow it to happen because you are ready. The number two could also be talking about a divine counterpart as well, awakening with you. And the triangle can be both of you awakening and then your higher self watching over this process. A higher power who is guiding both of you in this awakening process. So that's just for some, but if it resonates, take it. Number three. Vision of unity. Focus on the light, right to see, releasing illusions, pineal activation. This is a highly spiritual, highly intuitive card. This is the card of dropping the ego. The ego is all about separation. This card is a vision of unity. You are, if you pick this card, you are in the process of ascending past the ego. Allow the illusions to fall away. The card number is number 10, completion and brand new beginnings. And just look, just, just take a second to look at this card and what stands out to you. Again, 
I'm seeing two beings merging into one. I'm seeing a heart with angel wings. So this could be talking about a divine union, if that resonates. This could be talking about a divine union with your higher self. But if you pick this card, you are ready to expand and live as the spiritual being that you are here in the physical. Allow yourself to release the old fears, the old paradigm. So you might be experiencing some of that. They might be coming up strongly for you, but it, it's all part of this process so you can see through the veil. You also might be getting an upgrade to your third eye, to your intuition. Seeing the world through that third eye, just having a knowing, having a knowing of where to go, how to act. Allow yourself to rely on that knowing if you pick card number three. Let's move on to card number four. Share space. Telepathy, co-creation, communion, and honoring. So if you pick number four, to me, this feels very much like a divine union, a divine counterpart. Again, if this does not make sense for a divine counterpart, then this, for me, feels like a soul family coming in for you. There is somebody who's here holding your hand now and guiding you where to go. Now, whether that is in the physical or whether that's in the etheric, there you have a strong level of support and you are being encouraged to let that in. You are meant to be working. You're not meant to be alone anymore. If you have felt alone in any way, you're not meant to be alone anymore. And like I said, whether that is a divine, this very much feels twin flamey soulmate, but if that does not resonate, then this is a soul family coming in through a friend or a strong, strong divine presence who is taking you by the hand and leading you where to go. So trust it. Again, you're going to want to focus on your heart, listening to your heart and on your intuition. You are getting messages. It says telepathy. So you are either communicating with your soul family now or you're communicating with your, your uh, guides and the Lemurians and the Pleiadians now. So listen to what you were getting and you were going to be co-creating in some regard. There's some sort of creation. Now the creation can be the creation of a reality, the grounding in of a new earth. It could be the creation of a new project. This also for some could indicate a baby. So take what resonates, but you are not doing this alone. If you pulled this card, it is very, very sacred for you right now to be communing with another being or with other beings in your soul family. Finally, let's move on to number five. Star children. Number seven, no veils, psychic, different, cosmic inspiration and light. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot in this card. Children has been coming up Children and divine counterparts have been coming up in one regard or another in almost all of the cards. So this card could be talking about, there's this union again. I, I keep seeing this. So again, if you soulmate twin flame journey, linking up with your soul family, guides, like you are not in this alone. This could be talking about you being a star child and actually aligning with that truth, like who you were incarnated here to be. But this could very much be talking about, if it resonates, uh, uh, birthing star children, having star children, or um, adopting star children. If something with children could be, if it resonates, in your future. So just be open to that. If that, if that resonates on a soul level, be open to that because you're going to be shown the way. But this is not for everybody. This is really talking about coming back to that state of innocence that state of purity. The first word that it says is no veils. This is also the number seven, which is the most spiritual number and it's heart centered. Stay within your heart. During the set of activations, stay within your heart space. Stay within a space of curiosity and innocence. 
The card different is standing out to me. Stand within your difference. Perhaps as a child you felt different. You just didn't resonate with the rules. You didn't resonate with you know, a lot of the other kids and, and what they found important. And maybe, maybe you changed yourself a bit to fit in to society. Or maybe you didn't, but you always felt like there was something wrong with you. Well, this card is coming to tell you to celebrate your differences. Celebrate your uniqueness because it is needed now. Also, the elephant is, this is a very, this is a beautiful card in new beginnings too. So children, birth, that's all about birthing new beginnings. The little baby elephant here reminds me of Ganesh removing all obstacles from your path. Elephants, you know, whenever their trunk is up, that's a sign of good luck. All this water coming out of the trunk is just abundance. Like this card to me, it's speaking on so many different levels. It's speaking on the level of love. It's speaking on the level of creation, of abundance, of flow. Like this card looks like a celebration to me. Sorry guys, my background music messed up. Um, this card looks like a celebration to me on many, many different levels. This almost looks like a, a rainbow. Even though it's a stem of a flower to me, I saw a rainbow at first, beautiful new beginnings. Again, remember what we talked about here, the wait is over. So what he planted has now blossomed. Whatever seeds you have been planting are blossoming through this activation. The Pleiades and Lumerians are here to help you. All right, so thank you so much for um, tuning in and I look forward to doing this activation with you. It's going to be very different and new and exciting for me and for all of you. And I'm sending you all so much love and light. Namaste.